both the electric railroads. Railroad running right down through the middle of the camp. This hallway is made to look like rocks. Replica of a Frontier building. Contents of the covered wagon. This is various medicine man's Indian folklore. Northern Pacific Railroad wooden car. This is the opposite side of that railroad car. It shows the interior of it. Hot belly stove in the corner. Display showing hard times, depression era. As you can see, this is half of the tree. We're looking at the heart right here. And that was a pretty good stick of wood. Manufacturing wood products for the Flat belt drive off the line shaft, probably steam driven steam engine. Timber tongs used to carry a, a round log or timbers, used them quite a bit in construction when I started as an apprentice. Cork boots to walk on round slippery logs. Thank <laughs> you. 
load of coal. Gives you the feel and sense of being in a coal mine shaft. This person must have suffered a cave-in. Horse collar goes around the horse's head. Looks like a true Rube Goldberg to me. It's quite a quite a menagerie in the center. These are the projects that generate power in the Northwest that gives us the cheapest power by kilowatt in the world with the most reliable power source. We're looking up a transmission tower. As you can see, this is a huge museum, and I believe it's spread out over five or six stories. This is quite a display. I've not seen one like this before. It's a conveyor belt continuously running with the products, fruits, and so forth from the state of Washington. Of course, there's uh, uh, nectarines and apple, and uh, apricot, grapes. Plums, pears, and another type of apple. Really a unique showcase. Here's kind of a unique little thing. Squares, and it shows different, different people and different uh, products. Shows the various cuts on the salmon. Here's a section on shipbuilding. Of course, uh, Washington is famous for shipyards in Bellingham and Tacoma, Seattle, Everett.
brief history of uh, labor unions, the early days of labor unions in the Northwest, particularly in Washington. That's where it all started with the Wobblies. Fuselage of a twin engine airplane. There are several of these listening posts in the museum. Uh, you pick up the phone and push in a number and get a speech or a recording of some kind. It's dried salmon hanging. Many of these uh, scenes are narrated. Here is another display of how the Indians dried salmon and stored it for the winter. That concludes the third floor. Now we're up on the fifth floor. of the Washington State Museum, located in Tacoma, straight across from the glass factory. Another, looks like maybe an original covered wagon. While down on the third floor, uh, we looked up at this balcony from the base of the transmitting tower. To do a nice presentation of this museum, it would take days to videotape and edit and narrate everything. Nice uh, HO layout with a bud car running on the track. Very, very beautiful layout of bridges. HO scale. Several mountain tunnels. Very detailed work. Probably a little power plant, I would say, for uh, maybe the Milwaukee Road overhead electrics. Milwaukee and Great Northern both had overhead electric railroads. They had dams that generated power. Another part of the layout is a roundhouse, engine house with a turntable. Typical scene, somebody tried to outrun the train at the crossing.
That's a Northern Pacific GP7. Northern Pacific and Milwaukee Road were very common in Tacoma. Of course, the other railroad that came into the state was Great Northern. passenger train another uh, northern Pacific here we have a river boat next to it is a old wigwam burner that uh, they used to burn scrap wood in bark here we have a drying yard for lumber coming out of the sawmill and uh, a uh, crane to load it on railroad cars or probably barges ships for transportation all over the world this must be Union Station that's where we'll be visiting next right next door to this museum two more tunnels highway tunnel and a railroad tunnel and a smelter Tacoma smelter Tacoma had one of the largest in the country certainly one of the largest in the Northwest now that's a Union Pacific over there Very, very unique layout, very large layout. They're referred to as layouts or a pike. A pike is a model railroad layout like we're looking at. All along here are pictures and descriptions of what we're looking at on the uh, model layout. This definitely is a quality museum. I think it's neat that they have pictures and description of the models that you're looking at in this model layout. Another thing Washington is favorite, uh, uh, famous for is Rainier beer, Olympia beer, and Collins Black Label beer. They were all made in Seattle. Tacoma, Olympia area, and distributed worldwide. Ship tanker, nice display really. As we look out from the fifth floor balcony across the courtyard, we look at Union Station. This is Galloping Gertie, of course. Tacoma Narrows Bridge. Union Station. I'm going to go down the road. Okay, okay. Of course, this was the uh, Railroad station for Tacoma. I don't know if all of these roads came in here or not, but I know the Missouri Pacific certainly didn't.
Oh. He says this is all the pictures. Yeah, it was a very active railroad station at one time. Beautiful stairways, all marble. It's the way the old railroad stations used to be. Two waiting rooms. Another set of marble stairs going up to the waiting room. Dale Clahoui, famous glass blower. Okay. Okay, I'll do it for you. Yeah, you do it. Now, who are they made by? These are made by Dale Chihuly. He has a glass blowing place here in uh, at the Tacoma. At the uh, glass museum and also at Pilchuck School, where he teaches people how to blow glass. This is some of his prettier stuff. This is all inside Union Station. That's it, she picked up this guy on the street. You'll never know.